I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks. I'm ready to talk and I hope you are ready to listen. The pen is in hand. Let's go. This week is all about helping out the homeless. That's right, you heard me. It's time to do some service. So that's right. Get ready and get out there. We are helping out the homeless. I can't wait to, for you to see what I did uh, this evening. I'm really, really proud of myself. If one can be proud of their service, which they should be. I'm really, really proud of myself and had a really great time. I hope this gives you an idea of something you can do um, in your local neighborhood and just get out there and help out in any way you can. Helping out the homeless this week on Andrew Talks. Okay, my friends, it's me in the kitchen at Andrew Talks. And the crew and I, um, this week is all about being homeless and homelessness. The crew and I decided that we were going to do something special. So uh, we put together just a few sandwiches, just a loaf of bread and a little bit of peanut butter, a little bit of jelly. And we're hoping to make a few people's nights uh, by giving them a little something tasty to eat. Uh, and we also wanted to put in a special note to let them know that they're never alone. Um, we don't know if anybody will eat the sandwiches, if anybody will take it, if they'll be too proud or they're just not into peanut butter and jelly. That's not everybody's favorite. But um, we really want to do something special here at Andrew Talks to promote um, and just educate everybody about homelessness and maybe a way, uh, give you a way, the Andrew Talk audience, of helping out in your local neighborhood. So, would you like to see our hard work? Okay, look what we did. Okay, so everybody got a sandwich and everybody got a note that reads... You are never alone. And hopefully, like I said, the crew and I, really, this is from the bottom of our hearts. We hope this will make a few people's nights, maybe get them through in a night, perhaps, on the tough streets of Los Angeles. So you are never alone. And that is so true, not only if you're homeless, just anybody out there who's having a rough day, feeling a little bit blah. You are never alone. So there we go. There are the sandwiches wrapped up by Joe and the rest of my crew so nicely. And we got to go. We got to go and get these sandwiches to the hungry people out there. And hopefully, like I said, um, somebody, this will really make somebody's night. We are so excited to do this and we wish we can do more, but sometimes it's just the little things. You just never know. You just never know what a small, kind gesture can do. All right. More to come on Andrew Talk. Okay, really quick. I just wanted to show you guys what everybody's going to get. It's just a simple, old-school paper bag, and it has a sandwich of a note inside. I have about 12 bags, and I'm hoping to go around um, my block or so and see if I can give these all out to some people who need them. Here we go. It's a little nerve-wracking, but so exciting to hopefully be a help. Here we go. Crew and I. Okay, my friends, I wanted to give you just a few facts about homelessness here in the Los Angeles area. And you can uh, look up some facts that you're in your local neighborhood, depending on where you live. But did you know over a quarter of a million people, men, women, and children, will be homeless this year, within the year, within this year, quarter of a million people in the L.A. area alone. Is that not crazy? That is, that's, I read that fact and I almost fell over over a quarter of a million people, men, women, and children, this year will be homeless at one time. Unbelievable. Usually about 80,000 people a night are homeless in the Los Angeles area. And 4,500 to about 10,000 youth make up that 80,000 number each night. Youth, youth, young people out there, homeless with no place to go. I, I tell you what, I was out there with my sandwiches, as I'm, as I'm sure you saw. And uh, it was something else. What surprised me most, besides the raccoon and the really big rat, and, that, and this huge cat, I also saw a huge cat who must have been eating the other rats. He missed one. But besides the animals was the kindness of the people in need. I uh, stopped by a few people. I, I didn't stay long. I just said, hey, here's a sandwich if you need it. And the thank yous and the smiles for those who couldn't say thank you was just, was enough. It was enough to know that I was doing the right thing and uh, listening to somebody who gave me a good idea. And I think you know who that person is. Uh-huh. Thank you, Lord. Uh-huh. Anywho, um, it was just an an extraordinary experience. I was only out there for an hour. I walked my block. At first, I didn't see anybody, and I was thinking, um, uh, and so I just dropped off a bag like it was an Easter egg hunt, so I hope somebody found that sandwich, and if not, I'm sorry for littering. But, um, like I said, as the hour progressed, I was able to find some people. I, um, at the end of my trip, I found a couple who were uh, huddled up together on the streets, and I left them, and I had two sandwiches left, and it just seemed perfect to give those two sandwiches to them, so... 
honestly, it was a great, great night. And if you can think of anything to help out within your community, for me, I chose homelessness, but you know, if you want to help out the youth, or if you want to help out the seniors, or if you want to help out pets, and uh, dogs and cats that need a home, anything you can do to make this country better, you know, is the right thing to do. And you already know that. And I definitely got out of my comfort zone. I was out at night, honey, out at night by myself. And I was so proud of myself. I wasn't afraid. I knew I was doing the right, the right thing and the thing to do for the night. So instead of watching maybe a TV show or two, I was out there uh, servicing my neighborhood. And I really, really hope those people appreciate it. And I appreciate them more than they know. So more to come, more to come. Because you know I got the shout out of the week. Shout out, shout out, shout out of the week. And some real talk for you as well. So more to come here on Andrew Talks. Okay, my friends, it's time for the shout out, shout out of the week and the shout out goes to the first lady of the United States, Miss Michelle Obama. Now, I don't know if y'all saw Home Extreme Makeover this past Sunday with Ty Pennington, you know, move that bus, move that bus. But uh, the first lady, Michelle Obama, made a guest starring appearance on there. And let me tell you, she was just amazing. And she really sort of um, sparked a fire in me to do some more service. And this is uh, sort of a tribute to her, uh, this episode as well. Uh, she was just so kind uh, to this um, great woman herself who got the makeover, who was helping homeless uh, women vets of the military and uh, Michelle Obama came down and uh, spoke with her and was just so lovely and if you haven't seen it go to abc.com shout out to abc for having such great television and programming but go to abc.com and check out that episode um, it was their premiere episode of the season and it was just so amazing so shout out to uh, Miss First Lady Michelle Obama for um, being just such a great, great example of service and um, just inspiring uh, myself. So thank you, thank you so much for that. Now on to the real talk. Real talk! Uh, and this week it is listening to your heart. Listen to your heart, baby. Isn't that a song? Yes, it's a song. And um, it's what you should do in all things. If you ever are confused about what to do, if you have choices on what to do, you should always listen to your heart. Um, I have been uh, sort of restless uh, the past couple of nights because I knew I wanted to do something about homelessness. I had, uh, I had one time thought I was going to sleep in my car for a night, and that sounded sort of scary. And then I was going to um, ask people what it was like to be homeless, and I thought that was sort of exploiting them. And Lord knows I, uh, the crew and I aren't that great and that savvy with the uh, doing documentaries just yet. So um, I really didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to do something. And I just listened to my heart and something said, peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I was craving one myself or it was uh, the right thing to do. But I listened to my heart and I passed out about 12 sandwiches tonight uh, to those in need. And um, I hope it gives them a little comfort uh, this, uh, this evening. I really, really, I really hope it does. So that is the real talk. Real talk moment. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. And you know what my heart is telling me right now? It's telling me that it's time to go. So you know what I always say? Make it great. Especially in the service aspect. Make it great. Whatever you do uh, servicing uh, your community, make it great. And have a great morning. Have a great evening. Have a great night. Have a great lunch. All that good stuff. Just make it great. I am Andrew for Andrew Talks. And I will see you next time. I'll see you next week. Yes! Yeah, same, same time, same place. I'll see you next week. Okay? Thank you for everyone for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.